Good morning. Good morning. everybody for your morning joke part two of this training. We had a late participant yesterday and she, her question was, how do you turn it on? Thank you, you want to tell you can call me out. Do you want to tell everybody? <laughs> do you want to remind everybody how you do that? Facts are facts. Well so anyway. Touch it. Yeah, so you just touch the screen and it'll turn on. <laughs> Yesterday morning we covered uh, basically up to the whiteboard app. Everyone's cool with that? Any questions from yesterday? All right, so before I show the capture and the annotate button, I'm going to jump down to connecting your laptop to it, right? So um, everybody's used a smart board in the past 10 years, I would assume. And you always had to have two cables connected to it, right? One USB for the touch, and then the other either a VGA, or an HDMI cable in the other part, and that gives you video and audio. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my laptop. Every, all of your installations, for the most part, should have a little silver box here, right? You can't see it because of the teacher station. But there's two cables. One's a USB, it looks like a thumb drive you use, and the other is HDMI. You'll just plug that into your computer, and then Everyone sees the button that says source. If you touch that, you'll notice now there's an HDMI 2 button. So if I touch that HDMI 2 button, right, it's going to say no signal, but this is my computer, or this would be your MacBook. Okay, so that's how you'll connect with the wired connection. Pretty clear? That's how you've been doing it in the past. My computer falls asleep a lot, so I'll just come over here and move it up. So when you're connected with your computer, right, you'll be able to use it any way you've used it in the past. So you just touch and it'll work just like your smart board. Cool? Um, so the nice thing I want to quickly show you is that even when your computer is connected, you still have access to this menu, right? So you can still take advantage of all these features here. So I jumped from whiteboard down to source. We're going to go back to capture. So let's say there was a picture on our computer that we wanted to bring into our whiteboard, or maybe, here you go. Here's, this is Damien. He does our inventory. Up. I don't know where he went. So let's say there was a picture, and we wanted to put it on, into our whiteboard. And this could be from any website. And this is coming from my computer, you could say. You would come over here and hit the capture button that we briefly went over yesterday. And you can select an item, crop it down, and then open it in your whiteboard. And now whoever's panel this is has a picture of Damien on their panel. Right? And if we wanted to if we wanted to delete it, we had to delete. If we wanted to get that picture back, does anyone remember how we would do that? Well, that's one way. You could answer. Or you could. Or you could hit this little black button with the mountain top, right? This is our gallery. Remember, this is where we got our Venn diagrams and stuff from. If we come down to gallery, we'll have the picture of the lion from yesterday and the picture that we just had. I'm going to pull the lion for Damien's pride, right? So, cool. So when you're deleting it there, you have to. Correct, because that's like if it's a resource, like maybe you're teaching um, a lesson on the letter A, right? And you want to keep holding uh, apples or whatever the case might be. That's something that you would do. I have a question. Is there a way to organize stuff in your gallery? Because I can see that quickly filled with. Yes, so stuff. in your gallery, everyone sees the three dots in the top right? Oh, you should be able to create a folder. But I'll, I'll double check on that. But I think you can start uh, making folders. I might have to send an instruction. But yes, it does quickly get blown up. But you can remove items from there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my computer. Does everyone remember how to get back to your computer once you're connected? You hit the source button. And then it's like HDMI 2. 
think, think of that like when you used to, you know, watch a DVD at home and you hit, hit the input button all the time. That's all you're doing with the display. So there might be an instance where. Let's say we wanted to do annotations on our computer and we didn't necessarily want to bring everything into the whiteboard. That's where we would use this annotate button. So if I hit the annotate button, you'll notice it pulls up like a little floating ink toolbar. So we can start taking notes. An important thing to know is that if you look at my computer, you'll notice what? That the ink isn't on my computer. So this is just like an overlay. So like if I want to go and open Chrome or this app right here, you'll notice it's just writing, right? So it's just going to keep annotating until we do one of two things. We either hit this eyeball button and it just hides the ink, and then we can start moving items around on our computer, whatever the case might be. And then if we hit the eyeball button again, our notes will come back. Or we can just hit the X and it'll scrap it. Questions? Okay, cool. All right. So, is there ever a chance where you might want to be connected to your computer wirelessly? So, what you can do is, we've covered capture, annotate, and source is just when you're connected with the wired connection. If you go to this button that says screen share on here, you'll notice it pops up this little toolbar and it's like you can change the name to whatever you want the room to be. So I'm going to quickly hit the home button so you can see. So this is running here, but it'll just show up wherever we are. So I'm going to go back to the computer. When the screen share is running, what you want to do is hit, you see these two little heads right here? Tap that, and you'll notice it gives you some instructions. What you want to do is come down to the share my Promethean, and this will be you all have met. So this will just give you instructions on what to do for your device. For Mac, what you want to do is download the screen share app, and then it'll show up on your computer just like this, right? So it'll look like this on your Mac. Vince has told me that you guys can download apps directly to uh, your computer, so that should be So what I want to do then is I'm going to enter this code into my computer. And now this is a tool that you can use as a teacher, but your students can also, uh, from their Chromebooks, they can put their content. So if you break them up into like project uh, groups, you say, Joey, uh, present what your kids did, or whatever the case might be, or show me your work. They can do that. And then I'm going to hit this button right here that says enter waiting room. So you'll notice it says oh, we're waiting for permission, right? And then if we go back, everyone sees this little icon. You notice there's now a notification by those two heads that says there's one person in the waiting room. I'm just going to tap that. So you can see now, I'm going to unplug my computer. You can have your students or, you know, because you guys are the teachers, you can probably just put yourself on this. So you just select the person you want to share and hit share. And now this is my computer, right? So you can have wireless touch so you can be connected without having a physical connection. Uh, it is a good option. The one thing I'll note with this, if you're a teacher that shows a lot of videos, um, you should still show videos when you're connected with the cables, right? Because this is all wireless. So, so if you show a video, it's got to go up to the internet and come back down. So it's going to be choppy. The audio isn't going to ma match with the people's voices or whatever the case is. So for videos, still do a hard wire connection. But for just showing content, this will work. And you, now you have control of your computer. You can see it's a little laggy, right? But it's a, it's a nice resource if you want to be flexible in your class. So the kids would have to do what you just did on their computer. They have to 
They would uh, Vince would push out a Chrome extension to their Chromebook, and then it works a little differently. Um, but he's pretty savvy with technology, I hear. You just get a little, a little <laughs> thing in the top of the browser. Yeah. And you can click on that, and then the rest is basically the same. Code that you type in. Is that like a one-time thing, or every time you want to share? Yeah. Every time you want to share. All those steps every time. Yeah, so the idea is you don't want Joey in the back of the room putting something inappropriate up on the panel, right? So that's why I, that's why the approval <laughs> that's why the approval comes from here, right? So you notice I wasn't able to share until I selected who I wanted to share. Because you don't want to give people free access to be putting whatever they want. You would have to just have an ongoing list and then yeah, when yeah. you want it, you tap it. Yeah, exactly. You can have them join in the beginning of class and then you can just be like, All right, you're up. You know? yeah. And you can have up to four people up here at a time, just so you know. Any questions on that? That might take a little practice when you get back to your room and try that out a couple times. Um, that should be it. But just bringing it back to this. So like, this is a good way. Let's say this was a student's Chromebook or whatever the case might be. Remember, we still have access to these controls. So we can use that capture button. And we could bring this into the whiteboard so we can expand on student work. That's it. Make sense? Okay. All right, and to get somebody out of sharing, we just tap in the bottom left over here. And then you just hit the little X by the name. And it says, are you sure you want to end sharing for this person? And then it'll be all the work. Any questions? Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's what happens when you come. Yes. <laughs> so. Thanks for calling me out, Tyler. So when you hit the main menu, you go to this big button over here that says Screen Share, and that'll pop up here. And then to get into like that um, lobby area, you just go ahead and hit these two little heads here, and that'll pull up that screen. And the same code every time. Uh, it is, but you can change it by hitting this little refresh button. So that's a, that's actually a good question because let's say you have a class and you have a mischievous student that just saves your code and right. you know, I know how to do this. Ruin your class. They still can unless you click the box. That's right? true. So. But you can also change the code just by hitting the refresh button. Uh, just say if you want to refresh your panel on the and you get it. So that's like a best practice. But even though you do have this Still have to give that Okay? Alright. Yeah, that's the tricky one. Yeah, that's the tricky one. Let's go back to the The rest is really easy. This is the, the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you is just kind of like housekeeping. Um, so, you know, at night when you're on your iPhone, you're swiping all your apps out, right, to close it to make it run faster. That's just what this recent apps button will do. This is just a shortcut. So like if we want to get to our whiteboard, we can just tap it and it'll launch it. But you can also just X out the little X on the bottom right will close the apps down from running. So that's like another good practice if you know the board's being a little sluggish, you might want to just clear all those. And then uh, one, the last button on the menu is this help button. This is new, I haven't played around with it that much. But it's basically, uh, you can get support or start a tour on everything that I've showed you directly from the panel. So, like, if we were to hit start tour, it would give you the basics of kind of everything you know. So, a nice thing to do when you have free time, if you ever have that. You know, <laughs> it's just hit the start tour button and play around, and it'll run you through the basics again. Um, a couple of house cleaning items. <laughs> There's a volume up, volume down button on the panel. You can control it with the remote control as well. Uh, there's brightness settings. A stands for automatic. It's kind of annoying and will fluctuate. I like to turn it on to the brightness and just, and just set it. And then this is uh, palm mode, which will allow you to have palm rates or not. And this is just changing if you want to have two pens working at the same time. And again, I got there by just hitting the volume up button. And this menu will populate. Right? Uh, the next button here is a little snowflake, so that's just going to freeze screen. So if you ever have a do now up on like your computer, 
you get the snowflake either on the button or it's also on the remote control. And that will freeze the image here so you can take attendance on your computer or whatever the case might be. Um, and then the next button over here is just yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, the next button is just turning touch on or off. If you ever wanted to just turn touch off, maybe the kids are running up and touching it. Just turn it off. They can't touch it. Anymore. Well, they can touch it, but it won't work. And then the last button is just a source button. This will just pull up the menu. Really cool. um, the other two housekeeping items is the panel will automatically turn off after two hours. So if you leave your session, you don't need to flood it. And then cleaning it, right? So cleaning it is a common question that we get. Um, you can use Windex or whatever the case might be, but you have to remember this, right? I'm going to take my piss down quickly. Spray the cloth first. You can use like a microfiber or a washcloth or whatever, but never spray the panel directly because what will happen is the solution will drip down into the contents here and it'll like fry the parts in there and then no good. I'll get very mad at you. So again, spray the cloth first. So, so that's that's kind of all I really want to cover today. Any questions? Yeah, how can you clean the stylus? You could you could uh, clean it however you want. There's no instructions outside of your own personal sanitary. It's just a piece of plastic, so there's no technology in it, so you can clean it however you want. Any other questions? Um, I, I came late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to call myself out. How? Probably a stupid question, but how did you get your laptop to connect to it? Did you show them that? Or? Yes, I did. Can anyone remind her? Yep. So, just like you've done on your old board, okay. so you'll need the two cables from your wall plate connection. Okay. For the video, the question was how do you connect your computer? You plug in a USB and then an HDMI, or because you all have Macs, it'll be that dongle that you have. Okay. And then once it's plugged in, where do we go? Okay. To the source button. And then it'll be HDMI 2. Okay. And then you touch that, and my computer's asleep already. Okay, so it's all the same cords that we already have? It'll be different cords, but yes. Yeah, okay. It'll be there once it's set up. Okay. Speaker? Yeah. Speaker? Yeah. 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 The speakers are here, or is it like the external speakers? Here, I'll play you a quick video. No, no, it's going to go right through the board. Yeah, so just to give you an idea, the, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Those speakers are coming out. Oh, okay. What's the mission? Well, I feel like the board's put in our room today and teaching today. I mean, they've actually been cut. So, this, I, I've moved into the classroom, so I know it's simple to use. Yeah. I don't know. This is not a new issue. So. <laughs> I know it's not a me issue. It's not a me issue. We're not getting, we're not getting, uh, we should have time to just play yeah. this yeah. the yeah. yeah. and now we're like thrown into music. Oh, one other day. 2021. I think we put all the specials were thrown into it too. Like we went into <laughs> some classrooms, have smart boards, some Did questions. you have a question? Oh, we did. Oh, we did. <laughs> um, the, um, <laughs> the camera. Oh, good question. Uh, thank uh, you. Uh, ah. Yes. The document camera. So you can connect your document camera two ways. Uh, so all of you have this dinosaur over here? Okay. So this VGA cable, this is a little technical now, it requires some work. It's already done. It's already done. Over here, there's a VGA connection. So if Vince hasn't done it yet, he will. Just so you know, just give me time. So when we go to hit source here, if your document camera is connected via VGA, It'll show up as a VGA connection, and then you'll hit it, and it'll just go, and you'll see the document camera image will be up here. Document camera has to be on and in document camera mode yeah. for it to show up there. So just remember, if you hit the source and it's not there, make sure it's turned on and it's on the document camera mode. Yeah. You know, like handle from computer to document camera, the little button. I never, I 
on the document. Yeah, and there's like a lot of two buttons. Yeah. He'll tell you. Why don't you tell him to come in and he's telling me because you can't no read the map. I like your size. Yes. <laughs> Is there a picture on the There's actually like three. One looks like a square. Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw it yesterday. Yeah. 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 So you can do yeah. Yeah. the source button yeah. on it's here. It's red and then it's like, yeah. Yeah. like but I think our document is going to be the same. So oh, okay. the source button. Mine sounds like mine doesn't look like that. And so you can so you're feeling lazy. You're sitting by your camera. You can just yeah, you can be it. like, hey, let me go back to my computer. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's going on? Where's your classroom? Did they make any any other questions? You saw I got. What did you do? Yeah. 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 Yeah.